Moving on from the straight group, we have the ball-based letters. So these are called ball-based because they have an inner counter space, like a ball. So we had the I, where we went up and over and back and back. So the O, now I use a little trick that I developed, which is I put a little mark to indicate the width of the nib, and I start below that mark, and I come back up over the mark. The reason why I do this is if you make the whole shape from the top, you always end up going just over that line. So by making the shape from the bottom and adding the top, you end up with a letter that is even on both sides. As you can see, this is slightly lopsided. So we have O, A, push back on yourself, up, stop, down, up and back. E starts at the middle, up and over and back and out, and C and one and two and three. Notice the C is actually shorter than the A. The reason for that is if you make the C too long, by the time you come back up, you're going to end up with something resembling an A rather than a C. These letters are a lot more complicated than they look. Take your time with them. I'll just rewrite them here. One and two and three and four and five. And back on yourself and down and stop and up and wait and down and out and middle and up and over and back and out and shorter and back and down and 